This is a recording of the advice given by Rolinis Mataji Nirmala Devi on 20th February 1977 at New Delhi. Today's subject was creation. Tonight, we have decided to talk about creation, but our management has not been able to provide me with a chalk pen, with a blackboard. I don't know. I try to explain it without drawing. It's a very difficult subject. And uh, I'll try to make it intelligible. But I would request you to pay full attention for uh, such a difficult subject like creation. One thing is a blessing today that Talun Baba from Chapunti Talpa, but I'm a man. Talan Avi Chakrachi Baba. The greatest blessing today is that many of you can feel the vibration. And not only that, but you also know and realize that they can think and they can laugh. It's a very big lesson. Of course, some of you haven't got it, but those who have got it know that these vibrations organize because they raise the Kundalini, they go to the place where it is needed, out of compassion to that portion where there is deficiency. They understand, they organize, they are universal in nature and they love. They answer to your questions. When you ask them some questions, you receive answer from them. They are living vibrations. These vibrations are from the Divine. This Divine is called as Brahma. Brahma Tattva, principle of divine. We can say that the process of creation is an eternal process. Means a seed becomes a tree and the tree becomes a seed and the seed becomes a tree. It goes on and on. It's eternal. So it cannot have a starting point and it cannot have an ending point. It goes on and on and on. That's why it can have different states of existence. You can say state of being. So the first, just the being, is Brahma. Where nothing exists, we say nothing. When we say nothing, it is a relative word. Because we do not exist, so we say nothing exists. It's a relative word. When we are not existing, for us everything is nothing. There is something, but that is not ourselves. And that's why we relatively we say it is nothing. It's only the word Brahma. You can say, you can think of an energy if you want to, an energy form that exists. But the energy, energy accumulates at a point and forms a nucleus. The energy that thinks, energy that is distributed, accumulates at a point, concentrates on a point, you can say. And this point is the point we call as Sadashiva. This happens because that energy desires, things, organizes, loves. When it wants to create, when the desire is felt in that energy to create, at that time a nucleus is created. 
this nucleus we call as sada shiva this nucleus does not disappear you can think of a nebula i mean it is something which is all relative you can think you cannot think something in absolute form so with thinking you cannot conceptualize the whole thing but if you can think of a state where it's just an energy and no creation but not the energy of electricity magnetism all these things is the combination the synthesis of all the things which goes into laya which becomes that dissolves into that it coagulates say in a point that may be a word coagulates at a point which we can call as a nucleus this point we call as sadashiva this sadashiva is the ishwara is the god almighty 